Hello and welcome to the episode 1 of the Rimworld Alpha 14, the new update playthrough. And uh, this time we are doing a bit different strange run and we are playing as the Tribals. So with the new Alpha 14, uh, they introduce uh, the scenarios to the game. And uh, with the scenarios you can uh, start with different uh, starting conditions. For example here is the crash landed, which is the standard uh, starting condition. There's a rich one explorer and uh, has uh, all kinds of uh, extra things for him. There's a lost tribe where you can play as tribals, which is just some uh, tribal weaponry and things uh, with you. And you can also customize these. So I have made a couple of customized Pervent Toxic Fallout uh, World Cannibal Tribe, and this is the one we are going to be playing today. And uh, you can just click on these, you can click the scenario editor and uh, go to edit mode, and you can add and change things in here, which is really amazing for a really fun, strange playthroughs. But let's uh, let's get going with the 10 tribals with a permanent solar flare. And I'll explain about the things uh, as we go in a second. And we'll be playing with uh, Cassandra on a challenge. Challenging. Or should we go Randy? Let's go Randy. Randy random on rough. Yeah, that's that's what we'll do. And we'll change the storyteller as needed if, ne if we need. And let's see <laughs> how things go. It's all drama to him. And uh, we'll call this uh, the YouTube world. If I can actually type today. So this will be the YouTube world. And we'll generate the world. And uh, I wanted to uh, play on a temperate forest uh, this time. I would go for a jung tribal jungle. jungle but I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the amount of diseases. And especially with tribals. Dealing with the diseases might be a bit annoying and will be a bit annoying so we'll we'll not do that and let's just zoom in here and see I kind of want a location next to the ocean I don't want to go to the desert though uh, let's see is there any mountains or hills or anything next to the water on temperate forest looks like we might not have any yeah looks uh, looks very very much like that okay then uh we're just getting uh, some random hills there. Small hills, that's good to me. And advanced, we'll do a large, large map. And auto select the season. And this will be our new home. It doesn't actually get that cold in here. Can we get a, a bit northern region? Yeah, there. Let's get a bit more, a uh, bit more uh, winter time going. Sixth of spring, this will. 6th of fall for the growing season. Okay. And then we have a lot of people. And I'm gonna leave these uh, mostly as they are, except uh, not too old people, because the old people would have died at the start of the game. Of, you'll see the story in a second and why old people wouldn't have survived from that. Also, I'm gonna not get any people who are uh, not capable of uh, survival. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yes, not survival. Uh, violence. I want everyone to be able to defend themselves. And uh, we also need one guy who is good at growing, at least uh, growing level 8. So that's what we'll do. And you're you're fine. Abrasive green time. Growing 7. Sister as well. Let's see, next guy. Mining 12. You're awesome. Except, I added one condition to this playthrough, no mining. We cannot mine at all. And that's one of the scenario things. Uh, 57 is kinda old, 60, 63 is definitely old, so we'll definitely switch that. Uh, let me roll a few times. Malnutrition gun wound, 20 years old. Yeah, you're, you're fine. Let's see, let's show the healer, 16 year old. Okay. Cold lover, animals, growing, construction, looks good. 33 year old, prostophobe. 
Well, we are being attacked by Mechanites. I don't think we want any, any body parts like that. Pyromaniac. I want to uh, test out the Pyromaniac guy. Occasionally starts fires and will never extinguish them. Sounds good to me. And they're also... Uh, has some relations, to, so that's awesome. Let's see, see the healer. Looks good, except there are no violence. Let's roll a few times. Prostophile. No. Ah, he was phobe. We, ah, we should have kept the, kept the phobe. Artery blockage. No. Nudist. No. Horrible. 70 year old uh, asthmatic artery blockage. You're gonna die. Too smart heat to learn. You're, you're fine. Growing 9. You're fine. Baboon. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Green thumb abrasive. And uh, you're fine. There we go. So, actually, you're a nudist. I'm gonna not take nudists because we are, we're gonna have some issues uh, otherwise. Volatile. No. Let's take. You look nice. And I'm gonna name a couple people directly in the game. Uh, if you want to get your guy in again, please uh, leave a comment in the comments and I'll get you guys into the tribal action. So, first of all, will be Defi. These are my Patreon supporters. So. They get named into the game. Bungie, Babarix, uh, Paizo, I'm not just uh, naming you from the list uh, without really looking who's who. Uh, Joypunk, let's see, who, who else do we have on the list? Uh, I think that's it, that's it for now. If, uh, if one of the, you guys is missing from the list, please let me know. And I'll add you in middle in the game. I know Milford wants always to be in the game. So we'll just name Milford in there as well. And okay, this is uh, our start. So we have four people ready to go. If someone names wants their name into the game, we'll do that for sure. And here we go. Generating the map. Hopefully the map is uh, nice this time. Because we, we cannot mine, literally, there is no mining option, it, it doesn't exist on this playthrough. So, we, we just have to rely on what's, what's in the map. But here's the description of this scenario. So, the gods were very angry, the blood machines came at night. They swept through your village, cutting and burning your people with their blades and devil fire. The sun hasn't been the same since the blood machines came. It now bears down to the planet as a harsh punishment from the gods. Not even the strange men from the other colonies are safe from the gods' wrath, as their devil weapons and witch lightning machine uh, mechanisms stopped working. Only few of you escaped. Now, after a harrowing journey on foot, with no close friends to turn to, you must build a new home in the wilderness, like your ancestors did. Unbeknownst uh, to the tribals, a mechanoid planet killer slowly makes its way towards the planet, ultimately making their bid for a future survival futile. So, that's our uh, <laughs> our scenario for this time. So, we have 10 tri tribals who are uh, stuck in this planet. We are stuck with uh, no electricity, no mining, as we have a permanent solar flare on this planet, and there is a make a planet killer coming this way which will blow up the planet after a certain duration and uh, since uh, we cannot build a spaceship these uh, tribals are ultimately going to die as the planet blows up and which will end uh, this playthrough but meanwhile we'll, this is their story and their survival until until they don't survive so let's go so here you can see the conditions a solar flare permanent is hitting the planet and uh, creating extreme electrical interference. So we cannot use anything electrical. We don't even know anything electrical, like we have no power. We cannot uh, do any of those, no turrets or anything. We would have to research them here. Uh, and we can actually research them, but even after we build them, they will, will not function because of the solar flare, which ultimately made, means that they are, well, Utterly useless for us. And then uh, the planet killer here, an in interstellar planet killer weapon is approaching this planet. When it hits, it will destroy all life. Impact date 6th of winter, 
5507. Time left, six years, two seasons. I don't think we're gonna survive that long anyways. But we'll see. That's uh, actually quite a long time, six years. I thought I said it to be a bit uh, slower. Or I was a bit faster, but anyways, we'll, we'll go with that. And let's get everyone uh, some uh, tribal weapons here. I did a test of this uh, already earlier, and uh, the tribal weapons actually sir, uh, are pretty damn good for uh, killing uh, things. And we'll, we'll just have to rely on these. There's also one more uh, condition I added uh, to this myself. Uh, that no guns from the uh, other other colonies uh, or uh, raiders or anyone. We can uh, sell and trade uh, the guns and we can do all kinds of things, uh, but we cannot use the guns because the tribals have no idea how to use a firearm, for example. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just have to go with that. Uh, we can use stuff like uh, melee weapons, for example. Uh, uh, Blastil Gladius or something like that would be really sweet for us. Hmm. It's a, it's a fairly open map. And uh, I think we should uh, probably try to utilize some of these existing buildings. There's the Ancient Danger there. Immediately we see. And what else? What else is there on the map? There's some Boomalopes. I saw some Muffalos in there. Uh, we started with. Uh, I think uh, that's not a raccoon, that's a new animal, by the way. Uh, we start with a timber wolf, which is a new animal. We have a cat named Tutsi and Xerxes, the terri Yorkshire Terrier. <laughs> Great starting animals. Uh, it's a bit too south. I would love to start there. I think I'm, I think I'm just gonna build here. Looks good to me. Is there any... Uh, any area with uh, just mud. There's a rich soil there. It's a bit far away. There's a rich soil on that side of the map as well. And down here. But nothing really in the middle here. Oh well. We'll just uh we'll just have to look with this. So let's get let's get building. So wood will be our uh, choice of the material for now, as uh, we tribals like to live in, in the wooden houses. And uh, I have, I tested uh, this uh, kind of building style earlier, and I'm gonna try it again, because I really like the, liked it. Let's do 50, no, let's do like 20, let's do like 15, 20, 21. Those, this, and then double doors, wooden doors. So this will be our uh, initial building, kind of like a Viking longhouse, row house, where we live. Up. Uh, we need to fix all the, all of this. This is gonna be a moment, and see who who is doing what. Uh, we don't start with any uh, steel. And uh, there's probably not any steel on the map, especially because we can't mine it, which means uh, we'll have to trade uh, for some uh, iron uh, steel because uh, well, some uh, something still requires steel, uh, even if you're a tribal, like uh, to make a cooking stove. We can't use the electric one, anyways, but uh, to get the At least the basic one, the field one, that uh, does require at least some steel. There's a couple other ones we also want, which do require steel. Uh, let's not put anyone to hunting for now. I'll, I'll check those later on. So you look like a the constructor guy. Well, mining is irrelevant, because uh, we cannot mine at all during this playthrough. And we don't need any of these for now. I'll add it. Well, actually, I know you're gonna be a crafter, a smith, 
Taylor and you also. So we can, we can do that for you guys already. So Defi, Defi the Weaver, and Paizo the Keeper will be our. Uh, well, maybe you guys, you as well, Milford, you look like a nice, nice guy for that, and you'll be our researcher and eater. Let's put four on each of these, so everyone does that. Just a bit. When they're not doing anything else, and you can all do some growing as well when you're not doing anything. Milford and uh, Baboon and uh, Babarix, you're all gonna be our main growers. So you'll get the plant, plant cutting as well. That's very high. And everyone else gets some plant cutting as well. And I think we'll go with this for now. I'll assign a, also a, the Timberwolf to be trained. Factions, we have Hostile Tribe and uh, Hostile Pirates against us. Two tribes that like us and one Outlander in town who also likes us. And let's uh, give you guys some joy activity, which you can do immediately. There. And uh, let's. Because I always forget to make this. Let's add a, a horseshoe pin in there. So we can throw some horseshoes. And let's get going. Let's start building. Uh, as we are uh, doing those, I'm gonna also uh, put some sleeping spots up in here for the people that they can sleep on uh, inside. Uh, as we are building the house. It's gonna take a moment to take the make the house, anyways. And we'll, we'll build a individual hut for you guys as soon as possible. Also, uh, we need a stockpile, so we'll stockpile things in there, and we'll dump uh, dump the stuff, say here. I saw the rat. Looking at my uh, Temikan there with greedy eyes. So we need to quickly get rid of him. Also, we need a uh, growing really quickly because uh, we have 10 people, that's gonna be a lot of food we, we need for, uh, for the guys. So let's make a growing area here. We'll do 15 by 15. Here we'll go grow potatoes there, and then let's do seven by seven, seven by seven, a couple more seven by sevens. Potatoes will be our main main food. Then we'll do uh, corn, strawberries, not strawberries. Strawberries uh, spoil way too quick. Let's do heal root on that one. Rice. We, we, are, we are not gonna have cooling, so we have to grow stuff that uh, actually lasts for a while. And let's do uh, cotton plants on the last one for now. So this, this will be our uh, farm section here. And hopefully they get uh, as much of that growing as soon as possible. It's already 5th of spring, so we've lost a few days for that. There's also some ibexes there, it seems, which we could kill for food, which we will probably kill for food, and uh, I, I noticed there's, there's turkeys, actually that's emu, there's emus and ostriches Ooh, on this map, and uh, more timber wolves, so we'll definitely try to, you know, let's tame all, all of this for me, I want one of those, ostriches and uh, emus are pretty vicious, and may attack you at any moment. Well, they are in real life as well, so... <laughs> That's fine. I thought I saw a turkey. Yeah, I saw a turkey. There's a turkey in there. We'll try to get <laughs> a tribal bird farm going on. I also want these muffalos. Ibex rams will probably eat for now. There's some uh, deer as well, which is great. Uh, meat is quite nice. But we don't have uh, cooling in this 
playthrough because we cannot make any kind of coolers, which is gonna be great. So we'll have to rely on this uh, new pemmican food, which spoils in one year and one season, and it's made from uh, meat and vegetables, and it's this 50-50 uh, mix of a uh, dried ground uh, or ground uh, meat mixed with 50% of a uh, uh, animal fats and then uh, combined with berries and whatever vegetable uh, I mean vegetables you want and it lasts uh, for a long time without uh, spoiling and without cooling so we, we can just uh, try to make as much of this and store it inside somewhere safe uh, it took some heat already from being outside but once it's inside under a roof it's okay. Also, in the new version, uh, you cannot no longer just uh, instantly get free roofs. You actually have to build the roofs as they are doing at the moment. In there. So there's there's our. Uh, uh, they actually made it much quicker than I expected. So let's uh, add a floor on this immediately as well. They're gonna have to sleep on the floor for a while. In this building, that's okay. We'll get a floor in there. And uh, this new thing they also added. Uh, in this Alpha 14 is torches, so you can use uh, these for lighting. They are uh, fueled over time, so uh, uh, so they'll be uh, able to uh, just keep them going as long as we have wood. Also, uh, in this building, we want a couple tables in the middle, a couple long tables made of wood. Uh, just eyeball. That's the middle. I guess. That looks like a... Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it's correct. And then we want some wooden uh, wooden chairs around the tables. And we'll also do a party spot. And uh, the marriage... Well, actually, we don't need the marriage spot yet. Oops. And that here. Party spot in the middle. Yeah. Go. You'll be fine living in this area for a moment. And let's speed up this a bit. Uh, let's do an animal area. So we're gonna put all the tamed animals and everything in there. They can, they can hang around in here. Not in my house and not in my farms. We'll actually use that that building for them. There. There's a bit of slate hiding in there. And uh, then see this new nice animal tab here. And prevent them from going anywhere. Except in there for now. And when we get some turkeys and emus and ostriches and whatever there was uh, tamed, we'll, we'll store all of them here there. Fires are going to be really scary also on this map. Because uh, everything will be made mostly of wood. We can also do the stone structures, but I, I don't feel our uh, tribal should uh, have too many stru stone structures, so we'll try to keep off from making those too much. Uh, to train the... Uh, to tame the wolves and stuff, we should probably kill a couple animals for meat. Uh, but we'll, we'll do that as, as soon as possible. Also, let's get these stone out of here. Clean up this mess. So even though this uh, is missing a, a diagonal piece here, it looks like it's uh, open. It actually functions as a proper wall. This is indoors and this is outdoors. So we're, uh, we're good to go with that. Let's also get rid of all of this junk here. They are kind of in the way. Let's clean our nice homely base. I will do some uh, wooden walls for sure, because uh, being on the open and just letting them shoot me is not gonna be very good for us. Also, I, I think I need to destroy these animals eating my crops here. Not acceptable. 
So we have the joy activity done. We are getting uh, floors done and our one of the tables is done. We're gonna run into a lack of food really quickly. Our pemmican is already running out and we are not gonna get any food anytime soon. So let's uh, do a bit of harvesting here. There's actually not that much in this neighborhood. Yeah, we'll we'll have to get someone someone to hunt like immediately. Let's see. You guys look like you're really passionate hunters. Although, what are you doing? You are the grower, so you are not gonna go hunt. You are uh, the animal handler, so you can hunt. And uh, you look like good at shooting. So, donkey, you have a bow. And uh, komodo, you have a bow. Okay. So you are you are good to go for hunting for us. Uh, you're, you're the chef though, I don't, I don't think I want the chef, you're a researcher, you're a crafter, hmm. you're also a cook, I don't want the cooks uh, to be hunting, or do I, well we have two in there, yeah don't get in commodity, you can, you can do some hunting, and uh, I saw some ibexes uh, here, so we'll hunt those, for some food. Twang, twang, twang. Face my bows. We need to get some great bows as soon as possible because they are they are very great. We only have a uh, short bows. A great bow is almost the uh, same power as uh, a survival rifle, so it's actually really good. And I wish uh, when you are playing as tribals, you would have a, a small bonus on that. Using a using the tribal weaponry, which would be a really cool addition to the game. But yeah, let's see what's happening. Oh no, Xerxes is being attacked by the wolf. Oh no, help! No, male shit. Let's beat this timber wolf to death. Show how we deal with uh, animals that kill our uh, pets. There was a change in the melee combat as well. Uh, they now block uh, block the way. So uh, if you have a bunch of people uh, milling or a, a narrow corridor and it's one guy is blocking the whole corridor by milling. You can do all kinds of fun stuff with that. Well, I guess there's our first uh, first meal. Also, we have like nothing to trade early on. So, getting a couple of animal furs, butchering them would be really nice. Nice for us. Put a butchering table there. Let's butcher that as well. The cat is eating the dog. And the wolf is eating the other wolf. Great. <laughs> oh well. And everyone is eating the berries. Great. Just perfect. But, anyways, I think here is a good time uh, for uh, stopping for the first episode. So as I said, if you want into the playthrough, let me know in the comments. We'll get you in there. There's Baboon, Donkey, Mokomodo, and Antitra currently for the grabs. And... And I see a bear. Let's try tame that as well. And uh, check out the other Let's Plays reviews content on the YouTube channel. And uh, also check out the live stream on Nard.tv, where we play this game and many other builder strategy management games. And I'll see you guys next time with some more... Uh, some more tribal action. So, for now, bye-bye, and I'll see you guys next time.